welcome to a to episode one of David's life not David's life of David Frankel train spotting. Now I'm not gonna do this regularly as I'm actually as you know very soon gonna stop doing videos to allow me to revise for my exams. However when I am done I'm at, starting from the fifth of uh, January when I actually go back to school I'll be attempting to upload one of these every week. Now I actually made the first episode a couple of weeks ago, which was 26 minutes long. Then my phone crashed and I lost all of it, which sucks. So now I'm going to try again. My train arrives in 10 minutes. The reason I'm so early, I'll explain in my blog, which you can check out. But now it's time to do, we have a little bit of time to do some train spotting. So let's start here. Here is a class 142 pacer train bound for Chester by Altrincham. What an ugly train. There's also a class 185, which has just arrived here. A first trans Penang Express service to York, probably from Manchester Airport that's reversing here. Now what's just approaching this platform is the slightly delayed 1621 Northern service to Buxton, which you can hear they're announcing now, which is, I believe, a class 150 Sprinter. So we will observe that. As you can also see, there's a class 399 car Pendolino here but because there are no 11 cars in at the moment you can actually have quite a good view of the rest of the station which is quite rare because normally you have an 11 car pendolino which goes right to the front two cars longer than that especially if there's another train stacked up behind it what's funny is the platforms 9 and 8 actually go on for ages more but no but because there's so many junctions coming off platform 9 they can never be longer than that canopy ah anyway a moment of tranquility and no virgin trains is over because here comes another Class 390, this time an 11 car one from London. Or is it 11 car? No, it's not, it's another 9 car. There's another two paces coupled there. So here's our Class 150 slash 2 Northern Sprinter service to Buxton, which has just arrived here at platform 13. And actually, here's another train, um, 1627 Northern service to Barrow in Furness, which is made up of a Class 156 slash 4 Super Sprinter. So here's the Virgin train from London and the two class 142 pacer trains going, I don't even know, wherever they're going. So I think I can calculate this from 9, 8, 7, 6. That's coming into platform 6 there. Yeah, it is an anchor, so you can still see the rest of the station. There's another class 185, this one to Manchester Airport. Sadly, it does not call it Heald Green, so it is no use to me. However, my train will be, probably arrive about, about five minutes after this train leaves, which is the 1629 First Transpennine Express service to Manchester Airport, which is a Class 350 Desiro Express. Excitingly enough, that's just a regular Desiro. There's hundreds in the Desiro family, so it's just called Desiro. It's actually one of the Desiro UK family and is the only one to run on diesel power. Not sure if that's right, actually. Yeah, yeah, it's the only Desiro UK, not Desiro, Desiro UK, that runs on diesel power. There's another train approaching here. This one's slightly less modern. It's another class 150, although a slightly different variant. They're like subclasses. That's a slash 2. I don't know what slash that is. I can't see from here. But it is a class 150 sprinter, that much I know. And it's heading to Manchester Piccadilly. I think this train is leaving now, so let's stand back because it's very noisy. It is a diesel train. Our view of the rest of the station will be temporarily blocked by class 150 number 270 Northern Sprinter bound for Pace, bound for Buxton. There's two of them actually. This is. Uh, we'll find out in a minute. Class 150 number. 223 and it's got a moustache on the front because it's Movember and so Northern draw moustaches on their trains which makes total sense. So you can see there this, the one with the extremely bright light is a class 175 Coradia although I'm surprised I can see what it is because <laughs> very bright light. Now normally when a train arrives in their front lights turn white because it's the white light as it leaves. Both those Virgin trains have red lights red light at the back, white light at the front and because it's reversing here. So I don't know why they haven't switched those over. 
but uh, it's good actually because we can see without the glare like the one from that Caradia over there which you can see is glaring at us it's big headlight suddenly all is quiet until a class 185 the same one we saw before actually because you know it's only reversing so it doesn't stay for long this one is bound for York it's I can't see the number but it's class 185 Desiro bound for York heading off I think that's platform one actually funny is that's not the only track there there's another track behind it although that's just a siding and it ends as the building begins I'm actually quite far away from the building the platforms stretch out from the building and they never use them. That's a nine car Pendolino. The, ten, the 11 car goes up right about where that canopy ends. And then there's all this platform left, which they never use. So literally the only people you'll ever see at the end of these platforms are train spotters, such as myself. Because this is a great place. So you can literally monitor everything that enters and leaves the station. Speaking of which, there's a class 220, number 014. Um, 220 Voyager. Not Super Voyager, just a Voyager, a regular Voyager train bound for, I think, is it Bournemouth? Let's have a look. Yep, Bournemouth. Now, I think my train is arriving soon, so this video is slowly coming to an end. I can't see it yet. You can see the other side. These are the through platforms, so you can see they continue over there. The rest obviously go into the building and terminate. Yeah, like I said, you'll find the only people... Oh! The, see? See what I mean? They just switch the lights from red to white. It's not that amazing. I was just quite surprised. That was a bit... Uh, yeah. And again, all is quiet. One of those rare tranquil moments at Piccadilly where no train is arriving or leaving. Which is bad if you're making a train spotting video because it means your viewers get bored. Oh dear. Um, ah, and it's oh, my, our paint. Our troubles are over. Here is a class 170. I think it terminates here, which is actually quite unusual. They rarely terminate here. This one's not going to the airport. It is literally terminating here. It is three coupled class 170s. There you go. Three trains coupled together. That's 170 Turbo Stars. I think they're either from Cleethorpes or Hull because they're the only place where the turbo stars go. Now they're not going to stay with First Transpennine Express for very much longer because very soon they're going to lose them to Chilton. I wonder what they're going to use to replace them. Sounds like a whistle, which means another train is going to leave. And I think it might be the Caradia. Maybe. I don't know. Ah, there we go. That's our train. You can see it on the approach already. Well, I can. I don't know how well you can see, but... Yeah, you can see it now. So that's a class 350 Desire Express to Manchester Airport, also calling it Heald Green, which is the train I shall be getting. Aha! Yes, it was the Caradia. So there's an Arriva Trains Wales, class 175 Caradia to Milford Haven. And as if on cue, the one class 15226, another train to Buxton, arrives into platform whatever, I don't even know. It could be either platform there, I can't tell. So there's class 175 Coradia train to Milford Haven, three car. There are two cars and three cars operating from the station. And here is a class 350 First Trans Penine Express, Desire Express, four car electric train. Bound, it's coming from Edinburgh, no it's not, it's coming from Glasgow Central and it is bound for Manchester Airport. Thank you for watching. Bye.